All right, so let's uh, let's talk about um, rendering dynamic HTML. Notice that uh, we have uh, in um, in our data model uh, we have uh, a, cu a couple of HTML widgets, right? That has some uh, some very simple uh, HTML content, right? Some ge some generic HTML content in there, bound to the to the text element. Yes, right. Uh, you might be tempted to uh, solve this and just say, well, I already have that HTML. I just want to render that text in here. Right? It's HTML, right? The, 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 notice that the text indeed is HTML. See that? Right? Uh, and you say, well, I just want to render the HTML right here inside of that div. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's, it's not as we would expect. Uh, where did it go? Oh, it was a text? I'm sorry. Text. Thank you. There is notice that it's rendering in the literal text in there. See that? It's not interpreting this as HTML per se. Right? Our intent was that it would interpret this, compile this uh, into a DOM, right? Uh, and then just add it to the uh, as, as proper um, HTML, right? As proper DOM to the original. Uh, what it's doing is that it's escaping, right? It's escaping the content, uh, and it's treating it as the raw HTML instead of interpreting as a DOM, right? Uh, so, so, so to deal with this, uh, we we need to instead use another technique. Um, one of the problems with uh, with embedding HTML like this is that what what uh, uh, what Angular is going to do is going to uh, be a little cautious about this HTML, right? If this HTML made it, if you're reading it from a data source like this, right, that means that somebody somehow copied this HTML, put it in some data source, maybe a database, yes, and now you're reading it back from this data source for rendering dynamically. Okay? This, this HTML is different from this HTML. Yes? This HTML was literally entered uh, into an HTML document. Yeah? Its only interpretation is that I intend for this to be interpreted. Its only interpretation is that is, is that is raw HTML that should be interpreted only by the browser and rendered as DOM. Yes? This HTML inside of this quotation, right, is a little more, it's a little bit different. Okay? Obviously, it contains proper HTML. Uh, but this was not, or, or probably was not necessarily entered by a developer right, creating an HTML document. Instead, right, we want to dynamically render it here from some data source. Okay? And so, so one of the problems might be is that, well, that, it's, that Angular is asking itself, and, and you should too, is that how does HTML made it into this data in the first place? Right? Typically, it would be that perhaps an editor, some, some um, uh, uh, some somebody was using a tool, uh, maybe uh, maybe a, a WYSIWYG tool, yes, uh, and was creating this HTML, yes, and then it was stored in the database, and then it was it needs to be read back and then rendered at some later time, like a content management system, yes, right? And you might say, well, what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is that in those tools, they might allow you to do things that are a little bit too dangerous, okay. Uh, some, some of those tools will allow you to copy HTML from elsewhere, you know, uh, uh, and just paste it in there, correct? You might say, well, where are you copying this from? You might be copying this from some, from, from some HTML, uh, from some pages that uh, are, not, uh, are not safe, right? Um, and that HTML that you might be pasting in here might contain some things that are dangerous, right? It might contain iframes. It might contain uh, style sheets. It might contain JavaScript references to some libraries, right? So the unrestricted uh, just um, um, pasting of HTML here is dangerous, right? Uh, what if this HTML might contain references to jQuery, or it might contain reference to Angular? Yes, maybe a very old version of Angular that might be colliding with our version of Angular. You see that? Right now you have our parent Angular or jQuery libraries loading some dynamically some HTML that is loading another library or another set of style sheets that might compete against our libraries. You see that? 
how that this could get pro pro problematic, right? That this HTML, if uh, if we're not careful of what this HTML might might be, it, it might be dangerous, right? So what Angular is going to ask us to do is says, hey, this I don't know how that HTML uh, went got in here, right? I need you to tell me that you trust this as much as this HTML that you typed yourself. Okay, do you trust this, this dynamic HTML? Okay? You need to tell me, either by whitelisting it somehow, right, or, or giving a vote of confidence and saying, yes, trust this HTML beyond any doubt. Uh, I've, made, I've, you know, I've, I've ran some uh, algorithms to clean it up and whatnot. Yes, just trust it. Right? Uh, so uh, to do that, uh, we're, we're going to, uh, it, 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 it can't be just as simple as, as this, widget dot uh, text, right? It needs, it needs, it's a little bit more involved. So let's see, let's see what, how do we do that? So one of the first steps is that we need to uh, do that. Um, we want to, we want to bind this. I'm going to say, uh, I'm passing you the value of the HTML in this attribute. I'm going to give you the value of the HTML. And where is it? is in um, widget dot uh, text. Okay, that's where it is. All right, let's render it. Okay, notice that now it's a, it's a little worse. Right, it's telling us that you are trying to load unsafe HTML, meaning I understand what you want to do. You want me to treat this variable, I'm sorry, this, you want me to treat this variable as HTML, and you want me to compile it and add it to the DOM. I understand that that's what you want to do, right? But now it's complaint that says that saying yes, I understand. But now I understand that you're asking me to that you are attempting to load unsafe HTML. Meaning, uh, I, it's asking me to uh, tell it that you know, are you sure you want to do this? And and there is an an API that we need to use to to be able to tell it that yes trust this, this HTML. I am giving it, um, I am deliberately telling you to do this and I know what I'm doing. Okay. The, uh, the library is um, the SCE uh, library from uh, Angular. Uh, it's the strict contextual escaping, meaning I want you to stop escaping this. Do not escape this content. I want you to literally interpret it as HTML. And, and there's different types of content. Uh, this content is just plain old HTML, yes? But there might be other content like, like uh, video, it might be, there might be a sound, uh, there might be uh, uh, iframes that I am loading entire, uh, entire other websites, I am, I mean, I'm loading them. Uh, so there are several different types of, of, uh, of uh, uh, context that I want to escape, right? And, and there's different ways that we can, uh, we can vote and tell it to trust certain content and not other content. Right? So we need to load this, this, uh, this, uh, this API, the this service. I'm going to load it here in our controller. There it is. I loaded it. Okay, we loaded it. Um, and, uh, and now we need to, um, we need to tell the, uh, this ng bind HTML to go back to the controller. Go back to the controller model, and and um, and, and say, hey, uh, trust uh, HTML content. And we're going to pass it the content widget dot uh, text, and this is going to say return either true or false. It's going to say, do you trust this content? And we're going to have in this function, we're going to decide whether we trust this content or not. If we trust it. We're going to return the content. If we don't trust it, we're going to return false. Okay, uh, all right. So we're going to we're going to go and make that decision on a separate function. So let's do that. Let's go out to the controller and implement that function. We're going to say model that trust HTML content. We're going to implement it locally here in a function. And this is the HTML content, right? So. The template is passing us the, the HTML set, and, and, and we have to decide whether we trust it or not. Okay? Presumably, we have gone and already ran all sorts of tools that, uh, that, that cleaned up all the content, removed any CSS, removed any JavaScript or references to jQuery, 
uh, any libraries that might, might collide with our own libraries, yes? Uh, maybe cleaned off any, any uh, uh, abusive language, uh, any, any um, uh, profanity, uh, any, we've, we've scrubbed all that content, yes? Right, we've ran all tools that, that scrub any of that content. And here's where we're going to say, yep, I trust this content. Yes? And uh, what, we, what we're going to do, the way we trust it, is to use the SCE, the SCE library. And we're going to say trust as, and then, uh, I forget, what is it trust as HTML, is it? Oh, there it is, trust as HTML. There it is, that, this function. We're going to say trust as HTML, and we're going to pass it the content. Okay, that's it. Right. So that if we try to render this now, uh, noted that indeed it's the content right here, lorem ipsum. See that? That is now our trusted uh, content. It comes back and it renders it as intended. Uh, to make it a little more uh, interesting, let's uh, grab some actual content from uh, my favorite um, blog site. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Let's um, grab maybe this here. Let's inspect. And it's this paragraph. I'm going to copy the paragraph. Uh, copy, copy elements, and I'm going to paste it uh, right here. I'm going to paste it instead of this lorem ipsum. I'm just going to paste. There it is. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to have to use single quotes uh, because uh, the HTML uses double quotes inside, right? So I need to invert the HTML. There it is. So if I refresh my there it is. See that? This is now HTML that is you know, has links, has styles, and has everything from the original uh, HTML that I copied it from. Yes? Make sense? Everybody okay? Yes? No, it, well, it's using our style, right? It, um, it probably, if it has any CSS uh, that depends on the other library, it will be lost. It's using it's using this this hyperlink is is using the, our local style. Yep. What I meant if I, if it's using bold or underline or any any of those emphasis or anything like that, they would they would have been here. If it's using any ULs, uh, uh, any any uh, other layout, it would be here. Tables, it would be it would be as well here. Okay. Um, all right. So that's that's how we we can uh, render uh, uh, HTML. Any questions? Yes. Yep. Uh, well, um, uh, it's a, it's a controller who has the logic, right? Any logic should be handled on the controller, right? And the and and so here you might you might have. Uh, other logic that you would might might run right to decide on whether you you, you trust this content or not right uh, perhaps you might pass it through some scrubbing functions right uh, identifying profanity or uh, anything that you might want to remove uh, before trusting it and then sending it over for rendering right uh, so 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 basically what we're doing here is that we're passing that responsibility uh, onto the controller hey you control it you tell me if you trust this content. And then if you do, then send it back to me, and then I will add it to the DOM. Right, so we're splitting those two responsibilities, right, of, of the logic of deciding right, whether this content is trustworthy, and then the rendering we're decide, we're, it stays with the, with the view. Yeah? Okay. Uh, we're going to need to do something similar for the YouTube, right, uh, because YouTube also loads resources. It, uh, uh, this one loads. Uh, HTML that somebody might have copied and pasted. This one is loading an entire website, right? It's using iframes. Your iframes are, you know, dangerous because basically what you're doing is you're, you're embedding somebody else's website onto your website, right? And that other website can have its own CSS, its own JavaScript, right? And it could, it could have, it could spy on you, right? It could load all sorts of plugins uh, that you have no control over, right? Uh, so. So iframes, uh, uh, by default, uh, they are 
um, normally considered to be un uh, uh, not trustworthy. And so again, we're going to have to use something similar to deal with them here. All right, and let's do that next. 